Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am super thrilled to have with me Jibreel sir. Jibreel sir was my teacher in Christ University. He is a mentor to me. Uh, sir has had more than 12 years of IT experience and more than 13 years of experience in data science. Sir, I am super thrilled to have you here and first of all thank you so much uh, for doing this. This is all just because of my curiosity and to educate my audience about this whole field of data analytics data science so how about you go introduce yourself yeah, I think you have already introduced me uh, so that covers it only thing was I was teaching computer science first and now off late it has been become data science okay I was working in data warehousing at some point while I was in the industry and business intelligence was quite important in those days but as time gone uh, now data science has been picking up right so that's how the journey has been great so Firstly, if you had to explain it to a layman, what is this whole thing about analytics, data science, how would you do it? So, you know, as Kavach, you know, the data has exploded. The amount of data which is coming in for analysis is becoming quite huge, or we call it big data, the amount of data right. which is coming in. It is in both structured form, unstructured form, it could be audios, it could be videos, it could be website data which people click or whether they pause and look at a particular ticket to buy maybe an airline ticket but even the waiting is coming out to be data for us now when all this data is being collected now we need to analyze it so this field has come out because the fact that data has uh, gone up exponentially but also because computing power has gone up so in the sense data science is a bit of uh, mathematics it's a bit of statistics it has uh, definitely the part of storing the data how do we process data but it also now comes into the part of forecasting, predicting, analyzing the data involved. So many different fields are coming together. It's a multidisciplinary course, which is there now, data science. So, uh, I mean, we get a lot of queries from parents and students, uh, but I feel that majority of it is just for the hype of, you know, data science, you can make a lot of money. Uh, do you also come across students who have just come here or are just pursuing data science just for the heck of it, but do not really understand the nitty gritties of it? See, for instance, in India at one point, engineering was the key thing and everybody right. went engineering. But many times because the job requirement was IT, Right. Even though they did mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, they ended up doing IT once they joined yeah. somewhere. Similarly, uh, there is a hype maybe for the fact that data science is a new word, but artificial intelligence has come in. People have noticed it. People have seen machine learning applications popping up, Alexa, Siri, or you know, in multiple places we can see that AI has also come in. So it is not a completely hype thing. It is the in thing. <clears throat> but the point is that if you think that I can do data science without doing computer science, I may not agree. But it's also because I came from a computer science background. So I feel for data science, computer science is important. Similarly, somebody who doesn't like maths, who doesn't like stats, and then he says, I will do data science, but I won't do maths and stats, it may not work. Right. So, but you have to be realistic, you have to see the whole subject in its whole. You need to have a business understanding before you implement anything. Right. And in the way IT companies had a lot of job opportunities in different people, like for instance, in an IT company, we will have testers, we would have had developers, we would have had managers, analysts, business analysts, data analysts. So even similarly, even though we study data science, the jobs we could do may have a lot of variation. Got it. So one of the like myths or misconceptions that a lot of people have is that they need to have science to pursue data science or data analysis in the future. Is it true? Uh, it depends. Now, see, now the course has just started now. It's not such a long time. So due to which for a BSc program, let's say Bachelor in Science program, so it's already science in its terminology, uh, we really don't need physics, chemistry per se. Okay. So it is not required. Maths also, uh, you need up till calculus okay. in terms of maths. Statistics you need because today's uh, lot of AI, lot of things does use statistical methods behind it. So statistics you need. So from science, I will say you need maths and stats and you need to have the basic logic building, uh, the basic analysis which you do. So right. that element of science, yes. But okay. we do have students for a master's program who come from a commerce background. There are students who come from a, a science background, definitely. We have BBA right. students coming. So we do have a mix for a master's program. 
for our graduation program normally people with a maths or a computer science background tend to come for data science got it uh, along with that sir firstly have you started using the new hive which is the chat gpt thing uh, i mean i've read about it i've seen a bit of it but i won't say I've, i'm an expert at it or something but it's it is what slowly changes have are coming up for instance we had bots for uh let's say counseling wo bot had come in small uh, support and help had come out right. but now uh, when you like for instance use open ai for instance we already had it answering questions so well now chat gpt has pushed that level a bit up in terms of the functionality what it can do and now if the library is there if you are able to use the methods which they can provide us then the softwares can have new dimensions now yeah i i mean uh, i have been using chat gpt to be very honest and it is so addictive like i mean it's nowhere close to the bots or the yeah. you know the supports that we have on every website you know whether it's an irctc website or you know make my trip this is so real and it's so like you feel like oh my god it's actually a person who's guiding you so well you know you the moment you type three tips of how to ask interview questions they would give you like exactly the three tips that you need so um, do you feel that this whole advent of artificial intelligence machine learning big data will it take away the jobs of people who are not getting onto this train of understanding and learning about technology and these things uh maybe at the beginning kavach maybe your job may go <laughs> maybe they can go to chat gpt and ask you know what is data science right they could ask uh, should i join here or should i go here what yeah. is the right path but then the question is will they trust a machine so for us to reach that level a trust has to be built a connection has to be built sometimes so you're you know watching your videos you may have a following people may at least believe what you're saying right but imagine a corporate which tells you what to do a corporate which guides you in the best way right. you may doubt whether it is really helping you or is it helping itself got it so i mean yeah i mean once the trust is established once that human element you can still feel let's say a counselor yeah a counselor's job maybe a bot could help by helping you listen to it uh, you share the stories with it uh, it may help you deal with depression it's right. a reality it can yes. happen but my question is in terms of a personal connect Uh, that still is there right but as earlier if you remember there was a time when machines were at a risk of taking jobs when yeah. the mills cloth mills came lot of workers lost their jobs in a way you know right. you may say but what i feel is also that at each stage like this those people upskill themselves and they found a maybe a better job right i mean do we uh, still need people to wash dishes or can we use a dishwasher Right. You know and then if the maid who was washing dishes upskills herself and does a different job it doesn't mean her job is over right but yes she may have to uh, change the way she does it he may have to plan the things he does differently right but yeah i mean i don't think any job is going uh, <laughs> but it's evolving right and i think involving for the better yeah. uh, so we did talk about like the technical skills like you know people having knowledge in math stats have an upper hand in these fields but what about the other non technical skills that a person should inherently have or should gain uh, before they look into any of the careers related to data science so let's say i want to do a job well i should have knowledge i should have abilities i should have skills right, right. so de- definitely me knowing a lot of information as you said ai is in data wikipedia is there many contents are there right. i could possibly search for content and get that but the skill may not be there to make a website create a mobile app right. so end of the day you need to mix it up with the skill right let's say the simple example of analytics which yeah. is a part of data science and we say we have to analyze data because you have huge amount of data now i could analyze it we call it descriptive analysis okay once i analyze what are the measures i look at the mean my average correlation and then i may try to look at a diagnostic analysis now after descriptive i'll do a diagnostic analysis and say uh, i may do a drill down using a pivot table in excel yes, for instance yeah. and i could open a chart look at the line graph see what is the peak then try to click what is the exact data there and i may diagnose what is the problem kind of thing right but now we have slowly moved with ai into a phase where we say predictive can i predict, predict the, next, the future so yes. one was analyze the data of the past right uh, but then i need to go and predict the future but there's also a part which says prescriptive analysis where not only do you see the future but you will prescribe something 
let us make a better decision let's do this right. and each of these analysis requires multiple skills Got i it. need to know the domain yes if i am doing hospital management but i've never been to a hospital it's not going to work right same for aviation airline yeah so i need to know the domain <clears throat> well i need to know people so many times we teach people to be technically competent they learn how to code but they cannot work in teams yeah. or they cannot work under a project manager they cannot ask questions from a customer it's again lost right so we find students with a different set of skills and sometimes it's a combination of these students which can succeed it may not be just a techie guy who succeeds Got it, it requires a mix right uh, so i mean i feel that's the broader that's the picture okay Uh, so a lot of people who would be watching this i'm pretty sure have already enrolled uh, and are doing various courses you know whether it's engineering whether it's bba bcom or somebody might even be uh, you know doing mba and watching this but they still want to get a learning and hang of this you know just to have an added advantage with their regular degrees that they're doing how can they do that so if you could mention like two or three ways that you know hey this is how you could upskill yourself by continuing what you're doing in terms of your traditional degrees but get a knowledge of data science analytics how would they do how would they be able to do it see uh, many times students who have studied a uh, schooling a graduation and a post graduation tend to feel that they can only learn when they join a college or when they do a course right but end of the day we have to learn on our own right we will have to pick up that book and read it we may have to join coursera and do a course maybe you know right. it could be a mooc course it could be enrolling for a evening class it could be done in many ways uh but the main challenge should be what do you want to learn is what your question was so one way let's say a person who has let's say a programming a logical bent of mind right he could simply pick up python as a programming language okay and in python there are so many libraries like suppose he does numpy and pandas he will know how to work with data remove right. columns add columns merge things filter it out clean it out right. that is level 1 so you have got the data and you know how to clean it right then you may have to analyze the data so for which you know even simple tools like excel microsoft excel itself has a nice set of analysis which can be done right you may pick up a software like tableau which has a visualization tool and we teach tableau here so even in that we can just drag and drop and visualize data in so many umpteen number of ways got it uh so but if they pick up these smaller tools they get a idea <laughs> behind it but also i feel they should go deeper in certain areas let's say they say i want to get better at nlp natural language processing so they may go deeper into one area they may look at cnn convolution neural network and they may get better at image processing okay. looking at images analyzing images uh, it could be forecasting and they may look at time series forecasting they may look at a recurrent neural network so what i feel is they need a broad understanding and there are books on what is data science and what is the general area if they pick it up there are small small tutorials in those books right it is available on github or some site it's available right you try out those coding samples you get the broader picture but then do a project like and a live project on a specialized area okay and then you work 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 and it's not a one day thing or a two day thing or a one week thing right i'm talking about spending 6 months spending a year right in that time learning and then by the end you will start seeing results i mean don't expect a sudden fix that you know within one week or 21 days i'll be an expert in python we didn't learn maths in 21 days we took time <sighs> yeah it was years or years so python also yeah. give it time yeah. coding give it time analytics give it time even excel has so many functionality okay. if i study for one year microsoft excel it may not be enough i think uh, when i was working at ernst and young my managers they were the pros at excel and they were like hey we are still learning every day yeah. and one of the very important things that so you said then i i myself have experienced that i come across so many students on a day to day basis uh, on their resumes and when i'm talking to them they're like hey we have done python we've done this we've done that but the moment you ask them like more technicalities into it or when you ask them that hey have you done any project they haven't so they've completed all these courses you know and spent time but they have not worked on a live project and i feel that that is the biggest bridge especially when you see even in india uh, people are running behind degrees and education but the real practical learning is kind of really missing yeah so practical learning as you said is very key the skill has to come uh 
will you give your key work to somebody who has very little idea you want to give it to an expert right and expertise does take time but i also uh, would like to give it a thought that if i go to github or some site i download a piece of code and i'm able to do face recognition is that really have you learned it the thing is many times people assume that downloading a code running it on your computer that means you have done it and i will say give me a small variation can you support for this kind of faces or can you do this for a slight change a slight change i'll request and the student says no sir i can't do that yes i can't find that on github doesn't make sense so i mean on one side as you said you have to learn from experience but again i will say don't take the shortcut of just downloading something right. and then running it and making it think that ah i have understood it yeah so so this is so true sir because i'm like i said every time we have this real experience you know because everybody is working towards jutification not excellence yeah. so they will find all the shortcuts they will find different hacks of playing the courses online and nobody is looking at it they'll yeah. get the certificate put it up on their linkedin everywhere and suddenly but when you the moment you change the question a little bit the moment you ask them you'll go a little deeper you'll see that they don't possess the real excellent knowledge yeah. that is needed to command the premium in the job Job market or in a career wise, because I mean to be honest, data science has been there now for a lot of years, and I also come across a lot of students who say, "Bhaiya, course kar liya, ye kar liya, but job nahi lagi." Hmm. You know, or job lagi to bahut kam salary. salary mein lagi. But it is because you haven't reached the excellent part as of now. You know, the moment you do, I'm pretty sure there are tons of people loaded with money to pay you if you can really add value to their work or you know. Definitely. Right. And I feel, uh, see, I went to UK. uh when i went to uk my qualification was actually just physics chemistry and maths right. i had a bsc in physics chemistry maths okay i had done a computer course i had got into a good job but end of the day when i went to uk what i had to do in terms of programming was under using if statements for loops you know assignment statement it's a mix of a small thing but the code is 20000 lines of code damn now boy. for that I had to learn how to read code, understand code, change code, design code. Similarly, I mean, I'm just saying example. Uh, end of the day, the net skills I needed was maybe perseverance. I needed to have grit. I need to have hard work. You know, you need all that. Yes. But given the understanding of the domain, given a situation where you can pick up, I'm sure students will pick up. I mean, so though you may get a land a job by clearing an interview by answering interview questions, end of the day when you start working. you will be only successful when you can deliver content right when you can make an application or you can gather the requirements for an application or at least test out that requirement put out your ideas so i feel if students learn how to think if they have learned how to evaluate compare then the next step of creation will happen got it got it so i just have one last question because i know you are busy and you know thank you for your time uh, you mentioned i know that you worked in us and you worked in uk uh, how f- do you think that india is different or probably lagging behind and the youth of today who is probably watching this how can they overcome that and you know be the best not only in the country probably the world you know that you know because i mean everybody looks down on indians in that manner that you know they've done all the degrees but they don't have the basic knowledge in towards a lot of things so how can they bridge that gap i mean i don't think there's a gap I okay mean, because i feel uh, if you find indians are there everywhere yeah uh, whether in google whether in microsoft i remember somebody was telling a statistic that some 20% of the employees were uh, from an asian origin in microsoft okay. for instance so i don't think we lag behind in any way but sometimes we are unlucky in the education we get you right. know some of us get good schooling good background uh we get good teachers sometimes some of us are from a very simple background we are from a rural background we have done it from a government school a government you know it may not be a very uh excellent source of education so we may have not optimally used the first 12 years for 15 years of our lives got it but i feel uh given the way technology has leveled the game i think it's for everybody if our students can clear the ias exam you know if our students can crack iit g you know so we have the caliber so yeah. we cannot say we don't have the caliber so many government exams our students are able to crack right right There's and they are the toughest of like neat and jit ah, it is tougher than any college yes. i think all over the right, world right so there is no lack of ability we just need to persevere 
uh, we need to put the effort and the way you know our parents you tell us that you know practice if i want to become a badminton player i have to keep playing badminton for right. a long time we need to get our service right right similarly i feel it's easier okay. uh, i feel it data science there's a lot of things we can do if we sit and work hard and there are plenty of opportunities to learn there are youtube videos of so many professors today right online available yes. from all over the world right a course era courses well curated well planned but it requires us to watch the videos take the assignments submit that quiz at the end yeah. truthfully with yeah. honor you know not that you take <laughs> it from somewhere else and then you earn that degree right then you apply it somewhere so i'm saying it is possible uh it's very much possible i know so many of my students itself who are working in facebook who are working in google amazon right so i mean i feel our students are reaching everywhere all over the world okay so that is not a problem they just need maybe the direction yeah. and maybe uh that breakthrough which they're looking at you know along with the other skills that you mentioned like the perseverance communication and interpersonal skills yes. because again like you said you know indians are everywhere and they are able to do well you know a lot of codes for google microsoft are written by indians uh, but then sometimes being a good team player uh, having good communication skills would also be important my last question i know i said it last many times but yeah literally last question i know it's super tough to predict what's going to happen in the industry next because there's so much disruption that's happening every day but if you would have to say that okay 5 years from now this is where the future would look like and this is the kind of knowledge for data analytics that will lead or you know path the way forward because uh, i mean the money that has to be made for a lot of people who are watching the video would be in predicting what is going to happen 5 years from now 10 years from now and start working on that uh I could answer it in two ways. One is to say that I have the idea and I know exactly where the world is going. <laughs> but that would be a lie. I won't be knowing. Uh but what I feel is we human beings have the faculty to observe, perceive, be aware. Yeah. And I feel if today's age the way the technology has helped us, we can be up to date with what's happening around us. Right. Like you are not really a computer science student but you know about chat gpt right. you know about what's happening in the data science field yes. you know much more than many of my students in data science maybe right? right now that's because you are aware you are aware of the perspectives and then we are aware of change and change doesn't shock us slowly it will happen things will change but do tell me that if chat gpt is today here it was made by somebody right yeah. it was made by a set of people they okay. created it it didn't come out of thin air so people were envisaging that people were looking at that change uh, if you look at the gartner's hype cycle you know they have this chart where they show what technologies are coming in how things will change uh, we were talking about computer vision that is going to come it's going to come and today we have driverless cars right true uh, mm -hmm. so i i won't worry about the future because i feel we will do well we'll manage it we will be able to thrive in the space right and if you think with that mindset i think we are fine all right okay sir thank you so much for your time and doing this i'm pretty sure this is going to be useful to each and everybody that is going to be watching it because i mean data analytics data science has been one of the most asked things to me so thanks a lot for your time sir it was literally a pleasure thank having you, so you. thank you so much guys for watching this video till the very end if you like this do not forget to smash the like button comment below if you have any doubts question queries i would love to help and do not forget to share this with your friends and family members last but not the least do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon i'll see you again take care bye bye